Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called dexamethasone, and for this video, we'll be referring to it by its brand name, which is Decadron. Decadron falls under the class of corticosteroids, and it is also an adrenal glucocorticoid. The mechanism of action is that it reduces acute and chronic inflammation. Your indications can range from anaphylaxis, asthma, a suspected spinal cord injury, increased intracranial pressure, or high altitude cerebral edema. Before we get into dosages, I just want to remind you guys to always abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Now, typically, Decadron is a paramedic level drug, and your adult dose is 10 to 100 milligrams IV or IO. It's also given as 1 milligram per kilogram in a bolus. Your pediatric dose is 0.25 to 1 milligram per kilogram. IV or IO. Contraindications are going to be suspected systemic fungal infections or sepsis. Adverse reactions can include headache, hyperglycemia, fluid retention, obviously immunosuppression, edema, hypertension, and your drug interactions are calcium. And mainly you just don't want to give the two within the same IV line. A few side notes about Decadron. You're not normally going to see Decadron given out in the 911 EMS setting, uh, so you don't usually see it on the ambulances. The most common court corticosteroid that you will most likely see on the ambulance is solumedrol. However, Decadron does have more indications than solumedrol does. If you haven't already seen my solumedrol video, I'll go ahead and link it up in the right-hand corner. Usually, EMS does not witness the actual effects of Decadron in the field, but that's because the onset is usually within a few hours, and then the effects linger in the body. Always remember the risk to your patient as it is an immunosuppressant. So that is why one of the contraindications is sepsis and a systemic fungal infection because because we don't want to immunosuppress these types of patients. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol, medical direction, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!